Hey guys, can you guess what today's video was all about? If the title didn't give it away, this probably did. Now, a viewer requested that I do a video, a tutorial on how to photograph eyewear. So that's what this is about. If you're going to shoot eyewear in a setting, on white, or something a little different, then this video is for you and I'll teach you how to deal with those nasty reflections and highlights that you're getting if you're shooting eyewear or anything reflective for that matter. So if that's what you're into, stick around. Like I said at the beginning of the video, a viewer requested that I do a video, they were having trouble photographing eyewear. So that's exactly what we're going to do today. Now this is going to be a real hands-on approach, quick, easy way in order to do it. Now, if you want to know the terminology of the light bouncing here and back into the lens and all that other wonderful science, I'm going to put two links down below. One is photographing cutlery within food photography. Yeah, how does that relate to eyewear? It's the way the light bounces. That's what matters. That'll get into a lot of the stuff that'll help you out greatly with any shiny subject. Speaking of shiny subject, I'll put a link to another video I did down below on shooting shiny. So now you've got two other videos to go with this one. This one, as I say, hopefully I can make it short and sweet to show you a ways you can photograph eyewear really easy and apply it to anything else that's shiny. So we're going to be shooting some glasses. The ones I've got here are just standard rear glasses. We're going to be just shooting on a white background. Now, if I put my glasses down there like that, and I take a photo, hmm, look at the way the soft box is showing up on those lenses. That's not a good thing. That's where the problem lies. You, you want to know a real quick, easy fix? Turn the glasses this way. Instead of shooting this way, now shoot this way because you're backlighting. Look at the difference. Take the photo, look at that. Put them side by side. There you go. That's it. That's it for this video. No, there's more to it than that. But that, quick and easy. That is an easy solution. Backlighting on this works brilliantly and it deals with a lot of the reflections. It doesn't matter which type of glasses that you use, the same thing will apply when you're doing the photograph. Because when you're backlighting coming this way, the reflection's behind. It, it can't bounce back into the lens that way. But when you're sideways, you're getting that ghosting look. One of the other things, and there's a commercial product on the market for this. It's about $100, $200, I don't know. But this channel is geared to budget and DIY. So I'm going to show you some cheap and easy ways of doing it. And you may have seen something like this in the past. And I simply took some plastic and I made almost like a little dog collar. I can take that around the glasses and then take a photo. Now look at the photo without plastic in place. Now look at the photo with it in place. Big difference. So that one you're going to say, well, that's too small. So I made a bigger plastic dome here. So it, it is quite a large little hole and I can set it around it and I can shoot straight down. Now, a couple of things you got to remember when you're doing this. One, you're now shooting your light through a material. It's going to do two things. One, you're going to have a decrease in power. You're going to have to adjust for that. The other one is, depending on the material, you're going to get a color cast. This is giving a bit of a warm tone. I just color shifted it a bit in post to bring it back to more natural. But that's a quick and easy way. But this has problems as does the commercial version of this. And I'm not a huge fan of the look. It's not so bad on glasses. But let's take something like this. This is pretty shiny. This is very three dimensional. So if I stood this like that, and if I take a photo, this is what I get. Whoa, that's pretty intense. And you can also see me in the reflection because it's showing part of the room. So let's take our trusty bag again, drop our bag over the top, photograph from above again. Now look at the difference. Whoa, look at these side by side. You can see there's night and day difference between the two images. But is this one necessarily better? I got rid of the reflections, but it tends to me to take a lot of the 3Ding away from it. That I find is one of the issues with this type of system. And it's kind of like using the, uh, those little photo studio things all in the little box. I forget what they call them. But anyways, I don't like those either. This has a very distinct look. It's not bad. It has its place and it has its time in order to use it. But on the whole, I'm not a huge fan of it. I wanted to show it to you though, because it is a way of dealing with some room reflections. Another thing is this is just a file folder. And then if you watch this channel, you see me use file folders a lot for different things. 
same thing. It's kind of an opaque material. I can stand that there and I can block that light and diffuse it more and shoot. Now, if I have the room problem that we see happen, I can do it this way and shoot over the top onto the subject. That way it'll work as well because you're getting this showing up in the subject. You're not getting the room. So that's it. The quick down and dirty. If you want to shoot glasses, backlight them. Quick, easy, very easy to do. Now the other thing is if you're photographing eyewear, more than likely you want to sell online or something like that, something for you to think about. Not only do you want just your standard shot, but you might want these open. You might want a bunch of different angles. So figure out the different angles that you want for your eyeglass products and then set them up accordingly based on these lighting principles that I kind of showed you quickly on how to do it. And that way you'll be able to get some awesome looking images. And like I say, you can do something different. You can have, like look at this uh, diving mask, sprayed it with a bit of water, put it on wood, looks pretty cool. I did the same lighting principle. Now I shot it on white. So I can put my product on a background, I can put it on white, you can do different things with it. Now how about we take the lenses and what I did is I just simply photoshopped another photo I had of a, a lake and a sunset into the lenses to give another cool effect, make something a little different. And I shot it on white. I will put a link to another video I did down below on how to shoot on white and to isolate on white. So that's it. If you have any questions or comments on this, please leave it down below. I will get back to you on it. If you have any other ideas for videos you'd like to see me do, leave it down below and I'll see what I can do for you. But anyways, I probably babble too long that's it for this one. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. Hit that bell notification so you're aware when I post new videos. If you enjoyed it, please give it a double thumbs up. So, until the next time.